I'm just Andrew here. I just want to make a quick video on a post I saw. Um, if you it's relating to your PCs, if you get a quick problem, it says the message warning system battery voltage low. Press F1 to continue. Normally, what it means is the onboard battery, which holds, which is uh, what holds the things like the system data when your computer is switched off, um, and actually physically unplugged from the wall, it stores it in a small battery. And uh, if that battery is losing its charge or if it's died, it'll lose the system data on your PC. So every time you switch it on, it can potentially give you that error message, and you can lose this, the data and time all the time. And some programs rely on that because some of them work by licensing issues. So it's uh, if you generally get that message, it says you just replace them because the parts themselves are only about pound each. Um, just any part, any store you can go to, like Pound World or Pound Land, you can get the parts from there. And they just buy them in bulk packs. Uh, they usually come over with twenty or thirty batteries of mixed pack. Typically, the battery type is a CR two zero three two, and which I'm going to show you in a minute. And all it is, it's just a standard component on your motherboard, and uh, they're easy enough to remove and easy to reinstall. You can do this while it's inside the PC itself. Um, you don't need any. You don't need any major technical talent when you're doing it. The parts themselves are fairly easy to change, and what I'm gonna do is just quickly show you a video on uh, how it's done, and then that way you can change it yourself if you ever get a message. But the message is usually. Warning system battery voltage low, press F1 to continue or something like that. If you do get the error message, just don't bother farting with it. Just go to the palm store, buy the parts and replace it yourself and job is good. Uh, procedures for when you do it at all. First, I would recommend making sure you're not carrying any static electricity. So if you want to be safe, carry a user static um, electricity wrap and then uh, so you don't damage any electrical components that you run. Use a static wrist wrap hook it up and uh, then you away for all but if you don't have one of them just switch off your computer power it down touch the power supply while it's still plugged in touch the power supply case and while it's still plugged into the wall that will discharge any static electricity or anything that's grounded to earth like a radiator or something and then uh, once you've done that unplug the power supply and switch it off to be sure you can either take the motherboard out if you're not confident enough or if you're confident enough or you can just leave it in the PC and then when you go to change it, what you'll have will be as follows. I'm got my tripod, so I'm just doing it with my shitty, uh, shitty handheld one. There we go. So what you have here is just a standard motherboard. So here you have the memory slots, uh, the ATX power connector, the IDE connector, some SATA slots, PCI Express, PCI, and what you have down here, I don't know if I can change it to manual zoom actually. What you have there, oh, I think I'll have to hold this camera. This specific component here, that is the CMOS battery. All it is to remove it, you just touch, all it is, you touch this little slot here, push it out. I'm gonna to have to uh, try and do this while I hold my camera. So if it falls, tough look. So there you go, you push the tab outwards. And all you do is just replace it. It's like a standard button cell battery. All you do is you just replace it and you fit the new battery in. When they fit it up, you'll see there's an orientation. Uh, you'll see there's an orientation on the top, which is plus, which is there. That side has to go up ways, so it's facing out, and then all you do is you get your new button cell battery, make sure it's facing up like this, so you can see the little plus symbol on top, just put it in the relevant slot. Make sure, well, it doesn't really matter, but what I would suggest is point the plus towards the actual um, peg. So, I'll just zoom in all the way, so as you can see, there's a little, um, there's a little notch right there, that little metal tab there, point the plus towards that and all you're doing is you're just uh, pushing it in, put some pressure down like that, put it down, little click in place and then that's it and that's how you change the battery and make sure it's locked in place by making sure the little clips on this tab's down and then uh, that's firmly changed, that's how you change the CMOS battery 
and uh, once it's changed all you need to do is hook up your PC and uh, jobs are good everything should be okay just save any data back into your BIOS what you've uh, lost so anything what's been in your BIOS what you've what you've lost, just re-save it again and then uh, you should be good for going. So that's it.